Hi, Andrea here with CareerWise. I want to talk to you about how do I learn medical coding. I think I want to do it. I think I'd be good at it. I'd really like to make the money. I'd love to be able to work from home. What exactly do I need to know to do medical coding? First of all, you've got to have a base in medical, a core medical curriculum. So medical language. This is, this would be prefixes and suffixes and root words. This would be all of the diseases and the body parts and the systems, anatomy, physiology, all of the language of medicine. You're going to need to know and understand the language of medicine because you're going to translate the language of medicine ultimately into the numeric language of codes. So um, that includes basic um, root words and building blocks of medical words. It includes anatomy, it includes physiology, which means body systems like the digestive system, the reproductive system. It includes pharmacology. Um, that's your kind of core curriculum. And then you've got health data management. You need to understand the world of clinical documentation. That sounds fancy, clinical documentation. What does that mean? That just means actually documenting what happens in a clinical setting or what happens when you go to the doctor, what happens when you go to the hospital. Um, because you don't, you don't see it. You go in as patient and you say, oh, I have a headache or I have a sore throat or I you know, have a gash in my leg or I cut off my right arm and they run around and take care of you and do things and then they give you maybe a um, prescription, usually a form that you know, has some instructions, you're gonna do this and this and this to follow up and you go on your way. But every single thing that happened from the minute that you opened your mouth when you got there gets documented. And you need to understand what that process looks like and what kind of actual physical records you're gonna see or digital records you're gonna see. And that health data management is part of what you're gonna be learning in order to do medical coding. And then you're gonna learn codes, 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 codes. So first you have your base language, which is the medical language, and then you have the numeric language, which is codes. Everything that you learned over here in terms of body systems and diseases and symptoms and um, instructions and prescriptions and everything related to um, procedures and what they do to you while you're at the doctor's office, they take a throat culture, did you do an x-ray? All of those things have a corresponding code. And those codes are found in code books um, or in software that contains all of the information in code books. And you need to translate that language into this language, which is numbers. So you've got ICD-10-CM. This was something that changed drastically in the United States about a year and a half ago. Changed everywhere else in the world a while ago, but we're sometimes slow to adopt things in the United States. And ICD-10-CM was, was no exception. And that added literally thousands and thousands and thousands of codes to that language, to that dictionary, if you will. Then you're gonna learn um, the PCS codes, CPT codes, HICPICS codes, these are all the procedures, these are the modifiers, these are all of the things that have to do with your treatment, your diagnosis, your um, whatever was going to be done in the future. All of those things have codes and you're going to learn them and you're going to learn how to um, put them into the right software system so that they're now attached to that record and the doctors can get paid because they really like that and the insurances can get billed because doctors really like that and you can continue to have a great um, level of care.